Question. DS. Four points A, B, C, and D are on the number line as shown in the above figure. If the distances between the consecutive points are the same, what is the value of D? Condition 1. A plus C equals 10. Condition 2. A plus D equals 12. Solution. Now we will solve this DS question using the variable approach. DS, two variables, question. Condition 1, one equation. Condition 2, one equation. DS question with two variables. Let the original condition in a DS question contain two variables. Now two variables would generally require two equations to find the value of the variables. We know that each condition would usually give us an equation resulting in a total of two equations, one each from condition 1 and condition 2. Since we need two equations to match the number of variables and equations in the original condition, an equal number of equations and variables should logically give us an answer, C. Let's apply the three steps suggested previously. Follow the first step of the variable approach by modifying and rechecking the original condition and the question. Let the distance between any two points be x, so b equals a plus x, c equals a plus 2 times x, and d equals a plus 3 times x, as shown in the above figure. Good. This is an excellent approach. We have to find the value of d. If the distances between the consecutive points a, b, c, and d are the same, follow the second and the third step. From the original condition, we have two variables, a and x. To match the number of variables with the number of equations, we need two equations, since conditions 1 and 2 will provide one equation each. C would most likely be the answer. Recall three principles and choose C as the most likely answer. Let's take a look at both conditions together. Condition 1 tells us that A plus C equals 10. Substituting A plus 2 times X for C gives us A plus A plus 2 times X equals 10. Combining like terms, gives us 2 times a plus 2 times x equals 10. Condition 2 tells us that a plus d equals 12. Substituting a plus 3 times x in for d gives us a plus a plus 3 times x equals 12. And combining like terms gives us 2 times a plus 3 times x equals 12. If we rewrite this as 2 times a plus 2 times x plus x equals 12, we can substitute 10 in for 2 times a plus 2 times x. The equation would then be 10 plus x equals 12, which, rearranged, gives us x equals 2. By substituting 2 in for x in the equation, 2 times a plus 2 times x equals 10, we get 2 times a plus 3 times 2 equals 10. 2 times a equals 10 minus 4 equals 6, or a equals 3. Substituting the value of a and x in d equals a plus 3 times x, we get d equals 3 plus 3 times 2, which equals 9. The answer is unique, so the conditions combined are sufficient. This explanation is just to prove that the variable approach works. You don't have to solve like this in the actual exam. You might not have enough time, so just choose C and move on to the next question. Both conditions 1 and 2 together are sufficient. So, C is the correct answer. Answer C.